LA City Council plan to transform parts of some public parks into supervised campsites for the homeless is not going over well in at least one community. As NBC4's John Caddis Klimak shows us, parents feel local leaders are prioritizing the homeless over their children. LA City Council is considering a plan that could take away parts of public parks from the public and give them to homeless as safe camping grounds. And some residents of one park in particular are very upset. Surrounding the picnic tables, the ball fields, the parking lots, just about every open area of Westchester Park are homeless encampments. Tents with dozens of LA's unhoused neighbors, nearby residents say grew exponentially during the COVID pandemic. No matter where they put safe camping in Westchester Park, it's going to affect us. Parents and sports league directors asked to meet with us at the park last week, worried their city council reps aren't listening to their complaints. We've witnessed public urination. We've witnessed um, feces on the fields, around the fields, the bathrooms, the restrooms are unusable for an adult, let alone a child. The ball fields, home to little leagues, lacrosse, rugby, are only now starting to come back to life. The city's Department of Rec and Parks is renovating worn down areas, but these residents say that the tents that line the perimeter prove priority isn't on the kids who use the park, but on the homeless who abuse it. And I don't feel like that they're respecting that it belongs to everybody you know, just to them. For me, everything is on the table. Earlier this year, LA Councilman Mike Bonin requested a feasibility study for an alternative to the encampments and suggested a portion of Westchester Park and Mar Vista Park, where these photos show tents have taken over the infield, be designated specifically for legalized outdoor camping for the homeless. What we are proposing is uh, allow those who are there now to be in a certain section, give them the security, the sanitation, the services, get them into housing while the, the, while the rest of that park uh, to general public use. But some parents say the damage is done. Teams have had to move to other parks. Parents have had to leave their home neighborhoods to take their kids to play, all because they don't feel safe in their own local park. I see things just being taken over. Um, I see it's just out of control. I actually feel very safe here. But there's also some pushback from homeless advocates, like this woman who runs the nonprofit Grassroots Neighbors. She says the park is big enough for kids and the unhoused alike and denies any danger lurking nearby. I see a lot of usage happening in this park, as well as I see the folks who are living here who are unhoused and who are trying to get on to the next step of their life and make their circumstances better. But as the NBC4i team first reported on May 20th, crime is on the rise near public parks. Six days later, Councilman Bonin submitted his request to hand over some park space to homeless neighbors. I will gladly take any of these things off the table if people can propose better solutions. A different solution would be to send them or move them to a location which doesn't take away. The full city council decision on this plan early next month. Reporting in Los Angeles, I'm John Cathy's Klimak, NBC4 News.